Hey everyone, welcome to Pro Play Games. My name is John Kettler, and I am very excited to share with you my League Cup winning deck list of Espeon GX with Garbodor from Breakpoint, as well as Guardians Rising. Now, the main idea behind this deck is to combine two very strong psychic type Pokemon with each other. We have Espeon GX, which hits for a lot of damage, hits for status, and if you get it out really early, as early as turn two, you can use its wonderful GX attack, Divide GX, in order to knock out a lot of your opponent's little Pokemon and put a ton of pressure on them early game, especially if they're running a Zoroark deck. Now, you can also close out the game late game with Garbodor from Guardians Rising with its amazing Trash Alanche attack. You're dealing 20 damage for each item card in your opponent's discard pile, that adds up really quickly, especially if your opponent isn't very careful with their items, making this a wonderful card. Now, I will be honest with you, my deck list here isn't terribly creative or innovative for the Espeon Garbodor archetype, but I would like to go ahead and highlight a few of our single copy cards here. We, other than that, have three copies of Tapu Lele GX to get us our supporter cards we need when we need them, but we also run a single copy of Jarampa GX. This is pretty common in the deck list. You're discarding special energies. Occasionally, you're hitting for a ton of damage with Berserk. And when you really need to, you can use this big wheel GX attack to save yourself from a dead hand and get a whole new hand of 10 cards that are hopefully more playable. Now, we've also seen in several of the deck lists Taurus GX ever since this deck list first came out ever since this archetype became a thing a year ago Taurus GX was a common inclusion it died off for a little while but then came back strong because of well all the attacks we have right here but actually horn attack is surprisingly good when Zorua and Zorark GX are rampant and all over the place so that leaves us with the one outstanding unusual inclusion in the deck list that you probably haven't seen on pokemon.com or other places and that is a single copy of espeon ex from breakpoint the reason why we run this single copy of espeon ex is because sometimes divide gx can set your opponent up very well for knockouts but not necessarily with espeon gx per se so Sometimes we need to be able to find a different way around things. So if you are dealing a decent amount of damage to your opponent's evolution Pokemon, but you aren't quite knocking them out, and you aren't even finding the Guzmas or anything to get them, then you can use Miraculous Shine to devolve your opponent's Pokemon and effectively knock them out for much cheaper than you would otherwise. That's been a very tricky, helpful card. And honestly, I think that won me my finals match against Sylveon. With Sylveon, in case you don't know, it's another type of Evolution card. The difference is it doesn't really attack with damage as much. It's trying to wear your resources down. And so what better way to deal with Sylveon than to effectively knock out a 60 HP Pokemon as opposed to a 200 HP. Other than that, we really don't have too much different from most people's deck lists here. I run a maximum number of Professor Sycamore. I really like the aggressive, powerful early game draw, and I feel like even though Cynthia is a great addition to the deck list with the release of Ultra Prism, it isn't quite the same as Professor Sycamore in those clutch spots where you need to be able to draw into not just one, but two or even three cards to chain a KO. Now. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. We have seven Psychic Energy for Double Colorless. I really wouldn't want to touch that for the world. I feel pretty comfortable about the Divide on everything here. No pun intended, since we have Divide GX. Three Guzma feels a little weird, but with Divide GX and Miraculous Shine, I feel like we have enough roundabout ways to get the same effect as four copies. Now, here's the big question. Will Espeon Garbodor be a successful deck headed into Forbidden Light. And I actually feel like it can be. The reason why is because we have two very powerful emergent decks out of Forbidden Light, and Garbodor seems to do decently against both. The first one is actually already on everybody's radar, but Buzzwool GX. It's been winning tournaments left and right. It has skyrocketed into Tier 1 but I feel like this deck already has a pretty good matchup against it. I see no reason why it wouldn't have an even better matchup, especially when all the 
Ultra Beast decks like Buzzwall are going to be running Beast Ring. That's an item card that lets you search your deck for energy to attach to. Buzzwall, if you have three or four prizes left. Excuse me, if your opponent has three or four prizes left. But for our purposes, that's good because Garbodor just loves seeing items in the discard pile. Meaning that Buzzwall will be dead meat on arrival. The other deck that's emergent, kind of, is Malamar, which is letting you search your discard pile for psychic energy to attach to your benched Pokemon, and with a lot of really powerful attackers in the game right now, like Ultra Necrozma GX and Don Wings Necrozma GX, you have a lot of really good options for that deck, but again, we can exploit that psychic weakness on the Malamar, and quite frankly, I think that we can outgun a lot of those big heavy hitting GX Pokemon that they're considering playing. Oh, and by the way, did I mention that Malamar's Psychic Recharge is an ability? And we run two copies of Garbotoxin for Breakpoint to shut off abilities, meaning that we are going to force them to run a lot of Field Blowers if they want to win, and if they don't want this deck to stay anywhere near the top. So I don't know if it's going to be a Tier 1 deck, but I believe that Espeon Garbodor is well positioned to succeed and do well, especially in a really big event like the North American International Championships. Well, that's all that I've got. Thanks for watching and best of luck.